Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for yet another unboxing video for you guys today. I got a handful of things uh, in the mail uh, right here. A lot of which are, uh, oh, this is heavy as hell. A lot of which that are coming from different companies and studios I work with. And I also have these right here. So um, that's, let's get started with it and find out what came in the mail today. This one right here is coming from FedEx. And let's find out what was here. This is all the stuff that showed up to my door uh, while I was in Las Vegas with Danny, OGP, and Fluffy. So let's find out what's in this one. You guys see it first. The Outsiders, the 4K. This is coming from Warner Brothers. Uh, this is the complete, uh, it says, uh, The Outsiders, the complete uh, n novel right here. But this is also the, uh, the 4K uh, Blu-ray. No, yeah, the 4K uh, digital copy combo pack. For some reason, when I saw pictures of this, I thought I thought this might have, may have may have come with a slipcover, but uh, I may be wrong. Uh, but this is the one that stars like you know Patrick Swayze, uh, Ralph Macchio, like a whole bunch of cool people. You know, see Thomas Howell and stuff. And I, I haven't watched this movie in a long time though. But for the first time on 4K, right there from Warner Brothers, that's pretty cool. And there's no paperwork in it or in here saying when it's coming out or anything. But um. It does have an all new. It does have uh, an all new Fa Francis Ford Coppola introduction, uh, restoring the Outsiders, deleted scenes, and more on here. So it's like a, a feature out of here talking about the restoration uh, process that they took on making the new uh, 4K right there. But that's pretty cool. The Outsiders. I haven't seen that one for a long time though. But I, I remember digging it. I remember digging it. Ralph Macchio before the Karate Kid, you know. But uh, let's open up this one and find out what's in this one today. Let's keep this one. Let's keep this video moving. This one's coming from Paramount, and that is a film, Ragtime, uh, here on Blu-ray. I believe this is a, a, mus a musical film, or has like musical elements to it. Uh, I, have to, I have to watch this one again. You guys will see, you know, reviews of uh, most of these ones, uh, in you know, future hoarding up videos and things like that. Uh, but this is a two-disc edition, and it has uh, the second disc has never before released director's cut work print of the film, and the, uh, the first uh, the, the first disc has deleted scenes, uh, making of rad time converse, uh, conversation with the filmmakers. Uh, yeah, I, ha I definitely have to watch this one. This one came out back in 1981. Has the unrated version and the theatrical version uh, on here. So this is the 40th anniversary edition, and it's uh, being released November 16th. Uh, on a limited edition Blu-ray in stores everywhere. Uh, let's get on over to this one before we jump on over to these big boxes right here and find out what's in here. I kind of know what's in here because I know what other reviewers get uh, from companies. So this is Vanilla Sky. Uh, this is the new Vanilla Sky uh, Blu-ray right here. The one that's um, part of the Paramount Presents line. I'll, I'm going to open up this one right here. This is one of my favorite Tom Cruise movies, man. This is one of my favorite... I, I, I watched this movie, like, I think I watched this movie at least 10 times uh, in my lifetime. This is the original uh, artwork that came on, like, the Blu-ray and poster and stuff like that uh, when, it, when the movie came out back in, what, 20, 2001? But this is a movie I'm definitely going to, I'm definitely going to revisit. Kind of, kind of surprising to me that it's not, this is not getting, like, a 4K right now, uh, to be honest. Let me take that digital code out, and this is the inner artwork that you get on uh, Vanilla Sky right there with the, the Blu-ray up in there, the, the inner artwork. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. But uh, Paramount, thank you so much for sending that. Let me check the paperwork just in case. Just in case. Yeah, November 16th in stores everywhere. And I'm going to get to this box. This box right here. Uh, this one right here is coming from Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, this is a company that uh, puts out a lot of weird, obscure, uh, you know, kind of movies. Some, A lot of their stuff, I'm not... Uh, I'm, I'm not like the biggest fan of or never heard of the stuff, you know, kind of thing. But there are some releases uh, that they have put out that are kind of badass. And uh, I just had to uh, uh, order these ones. Uh, order these ones right here when I found out about them being available. So let's, uh, let's get this. Let's get this cracked open so we can, you guys can see what I ordered. But uh, let's open this up. Packaged very well. Packaged very well. Wrapped in bubble wrap right here. And the first one inside here is one of their VA, VSA titles. It's a limited to 5,000 units. On, it's limited to 5,000, this one. And I have number 848. And that is whatever it takes here on uh, on Blu-ray. Uh, this is the new commission artwork right here. It stars, you know, um, 
uh, how's it called? Fred the Hammer, Fred the Hammer, uh, Williamson, uh, Don the Dragon Wilson, and uh, Andrew Dice Clay, the comedian. This is the original artwork that I remember as a kid uh, when it came out on VHS back in the day. But it has like the, the kind of box where you can pull out like this, and like you know the Blu-ray and stuff. You know, comes out the bottom. You know that, that I think that's kind of rad. And it, I think it comes with like a poster here and everything. This is the movie I've seen a couple times when I was younger. Uh, you know, when I was getting into Don the Dragon Wilson movies. Uh, Don Dragon Wilson is the dude right here in the, in the, on the cover. Uh, oh, I've always been a fan of that guy. He's been in a, a couple of my videos, and he's in, you know, like Blood Fist and everything. But the other one I got is something that I just, I just had to get because my friend Master Chaos uh, here on YouTube and uh, Garrett from Born to Be Rad and my boys over at DeadPit.com, Dead Pit Radio, uh, all made videos about it, talking about it. And that is the New York Ninja. Uh, this one right here is like a lost uh, 80s you know, martial art ninja film, you know, that never was released, ever. It was a movie that was never even finished. And Vinegar Syndrome, I guess, bought the, bought the rights to it and, uh, you know, edited the movie together, you know, by themselves and, like, redubbed the movie, you know, dubbed over the movie with uh, American actors because there was no sound to the movie at all. Like, the sound was lost. All they had was, like, random footage of a movie. And they spliced it together and got a whole bunch of different voice talent. Like, L Linnea Quigley is in here. Michael Berryman does a voice uh, in, in, of one of the characters in here. Along with Don the Dragon Wilson and Cynthia Rothrock. And uh, I just kind of wanted to see this uh, presentation uh, of this, you know, lost movie that never was ever finished or never came out until now. And it was shot in the 80s. And I was just like, shit, I want to see this thing. And uh, I want to say, how do you open this? Okay, yeah, you, you can, this is like one of those limited edition box sets that has like a, like a little clasp on the side that uh, opens up like this. Like, it's, like, it's, it's kind of badass looking. It's kind of badass looking. And I'm just really interested in, uh, you know, ch checking this thing out. You know, it has like I Heart New York right here. Or I Heart, uh, you know, New York Ninja. Comes with a little booklet and stuff. This is cool. This is super cool, and it comes like a, its own little slipcover, and bam, the original art right here. I, I'm, so, I'm, I'm so pumped and excited to talk uh, to watch this one. Like I said, I purchased this, and I'm just pumped. I'm pumped as hell to, to actually watch this one because I, I know all about the movie now. You know, like all of, all the different ins and outs about it. So it's gonna be even that that much more enjoyable. And plus, I love I love you know martial art ninja movies and things. So this box set is killer. I gotta tuck that back in, but. Yeah, man, I, that, that's what I picked up from Vinegar Syndrome. This one uh, is coming from, uh, is this Paramount? This one, yeah, I think this one is Paramount as well. So let's find out what this could be. Uh, okay, we still got three, this box and the three more boxes after this. Wait, what could this be? What could this be? What could this, what is, oh boy, oh boy. What is this? Okay, we got Emily in Paris, season one. Uh, here on uh, on DVD, uh, I, this is a television show. I know nothing about because I'm just getting them now. But uh, you know, when I watch it in the future, I'll definitely talk about it and let you guys know what I think about it. Let me know down below if you have you seen it in the comments. Let me know down below. And the other one is something I didn't even know if I, I requested this, but um, I was talking to Danny about this one, and this is a uh, uh, younger, the complete series here on DVD. Uh, I believe Danny the Center Stalker recently got one of these as well. It looks like it was put out by MTV or something. I, I really don't know much about this one. It came out in like 2000. It started it started airing on uh, what TV Land in 2015 or something. It says, but it also says MTV Entertainment on the side here. So I don't know. I really don't know nothing about this one, but I'll definitely be checking it out and giving you guys my thoughts on it in a future hoarding up video. Uh, yeah, but uh, Emily in Paris comes out November 9th. Uh, in stores everywhere on DVD, and there's exclusive behind-the-scenes special featurettes uh, on Younger or, or on um, Emily, uh, Emily in Paris. Let's move on over to this box right here, coming from Lionsgate Home Entertainment. Lionsgate, uh, come on! But if you guys are liking these videos, I know they're just simple. It's just me opening up boxes and stuff like that. I do other videos as well on this channel, out and about. If you haven't seen the video I made in Las Vegas with the boys. So that's on there. It's on my channel. It's called Three Crazy Nights in Vegas. But right, let's open this one up and see what we got. It's uh, a movie that recently came out to Blu-ray, and I'm getting a review copy of it now. I think it, I think this movie's been out for like a couple weeks. Called Steel Dawn. Uh, this is a Patrick Swayze like po post-apocalyptic-ish uh, you know film, 
and uh, I haven't seen this movie in years. Uh, I recently just bought it at Walmart, like not but a couple days ago, you know, a couple days before I went on my Vegas trip, and uh, oh man, now I, now I got two. I, I may have to I may have to return my uh, the one I bought at Walmart. But uh, this one right here, I'm definitely gonna be watching and talking about really soon uh, in a future video. This, I, I know I've I know I've seen it a long time ago, but I, I you know like back back in like the 90s and stuff. But I'm definitely gonna have to you know rewatch that one. But that that one's in stores right now, and the cheapest price one you can find is at Walmart. I believe they're like 12.99 right now at Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. But we have another package uh, right here. We got one more after this one, and this one's coming from Warner Brothers. Uh, this, this is coming from Warner Brothers, and all these ones except for you know New York Ninja and um, uh, whatever it takes were, were sent for free to, for free uh, to, for me to talk about for videos and stuff like that. Just wanted to put that out there. Uh, okay, we got two. Uh, these are both coming from Warner Brothers. Okay, cool. Uh, we got a movie called Tina uh, here on Blu-ray. This is like a, a biopic on Tina Turner. Uh, this one's uh, was uh, was an HBO documentary. Wait, HBO, yeah, yeah, HBO documentary film. I thought, I thought it was a biopic, but it's actually a documentary about Tina Turner. Okay, okay, like I said, I, I get things sent to review, and I have to, like, you know, process things, and I'll actually talk about them in future videos, but this is kind of cool. I guess I'll learn more about the queen herself, Tina Turner. And this one, I'm kind of def definitely excited to check out. And this is the first season, I believe, that, um, uh, what's, what's your name, is not even in this season. Uh, this is the uh, fi it was called the eighth and final season of Mom, and this one doesn't have Anna Ferris in it. This is the I guess after she left, it only lasted one more season before they canceled the show or just ended the show. But I thought I always loved this one. I have all the other seasons uh, of Mom uh, on DVD, and I always really enjoy it. Always laugh and have a good time with it. Alice and Jenny is awesome. So are the rest of the so so is the rest of the cast of this show. Uh, but yeah, dude, I'm definitely definitely loving this. This is this one should be available, uh, I believe, in the next day or two as you as you're watching this video. You can get it at the Warner Archive dot uh, com uh, is where you guys can get you know these titles at the Warner Archive Collection dot com. Uh, you guys can pick these ones up. But look out for my reviews of these ones coming soon uh, in my videos here. Thank you, Warner Brothers, uh, for sending these on over. This one I'm the most I'm most excited about this one out of, out of the two. This is the one I'm I'm, I'm more pumped on. But uh, yeah, we got one more box, and it's kind of a heavy one. It's kind of a heavy box, and this one says it's coming from Warner Brothers as well. Super, like, you know, not super heavy, but, like, a lot heavier than this, like, one Blu-ray. So let's find out what Warner Brothers sent. So they just sent M Mom, the last season of Tina, or the, the Tina Turner documentary. So let's find out what this could be. I'm kind of it, kind of pumped, and hopefully it's something cool. Let's see, let's see if you guys can see it. This is what I see when I open the box. What is this? What is this? Ha 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 Oh my god, okay. This I Hmm This is a this is a 31 disc 4K Blu-ray collector's edition set. Middle Earth, The Hobbit, and the Lord of the Rings box set. Here. Holy crap, dude. Holy crap, dude! This is insane. I saw I saw a handful of people get this that live like overseas and like other you know reviewers and stuff get this. So I didn't even think you know this was even going to be a possibility when it comes to me getting one. Uh, this, yeah, this is a thirteen a thirty one disc uh, box set right here featuring you know all the films from Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit trilogy as well uh, on four K and uh, Blu Ray. So they did, they, I know they released these movies separately too, like the, the Hobbit trilogy separately on uh, 4K, the Lord of the Rings one separately on 4K. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to look at this paperwork right here, seeing you know, like when it, when, it, when it's coming out for you guys. It, it may be already out because I've seen people, like I said, do videos on it the last handful of um, the ha last handful of weeks uh, on YouTube and stuff. But uh, this is insane. This is insane. The Middle Earth Collection. I'm trying to see when it's out. Cause I, it, it may be out right now. Uh, street date comes out 11-16-2021. Uh, uh, 20, uh, so it comes out on the 16th uh, of this month out here in the U.S. Uh, suggested retail price is $249.99. It says on the paperwork right here. Warner Brothers. 
Thank you so much for sending this on over. This is super killer. And this is a kind of an amazing looking set, dude. I'll be, I'll be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, you know, what? Stay tuned for my next hoarding up video, guys. My next hoarding up video, I'm gonna do an unboxing of this at the end. So you guys can see what the innards and stuff look like of this. So stay tuned to the end of my next hoarding up video. If you guys wanna see what it looks like inside uh, this bad boy right here. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Warner Brothers. I really do appreciate it. And thank you for Lionsgate. Uh, Paramount and everybody else uh, that uh, sent product today for this video. Uh, I will be talking about them and giving you guys my reviews and thoughts of, of these, uh, all these titles in future hoarding up videos in the review portion and stuff on my Tuesday, on my Tuesday videos that I do. But guys, thank you so much for coming by and for supporting the video. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.